A Course in Miracles, Volume 2, Workbook for Students, Lesson 176. God is but love, and therefore so am I. Remember, we are still doing Review 5 with the main central theme being God is but love, and therefore so am I. Lesson 161 Review Give me your blessing, Holy Son of God. God is but love, and therefore so am I. Lesson 162 Review I am as God created me. God is but love, and therefore so am I. As most of you know, I read the commentary for some of the lessons from a workbook companion. And it just helps to put a different spin and a different perspective on the way of looking at things. So commentary for lesson 176. Our practicing somehow releases Christ to the world. Opening our minds to the Holy Spirit makes us available as channels to those around us. The Holy Spirit, of course, is him who sees your bitter need and knows the answer God has given him. One of the things that makes the course so unique, I think, is the way in which it both acknowledges our bitter need and yet affirms that in reality we have no needs. It is as if he is saying to us, I know that the world of pain and loss is only an illusion and nothing to be disturbed about, but I also know that to you it is very, very real and I am ready to work with you on that basis. Quite clearly, we are being encouraged to develop a relationship with Jesus and the Holy Spirit. We review together we devote our time and effort to these review thoughts together. We are not simply individuals practicing some kind of mind manipulation. We are engaging in a relationship, a collaborative venture. Healing does not come from anyone else. You must accept guidance from within. The guidance must be what you want or it will be meaningless to you. That is why healing is a collaborative venture. I can tell you what to do, but you must collaborate by believing that I know what you should do. And that is found in the text in A Course in Miracles. So we are reviewing these thoughts with him. We are not just mulling them over by ourselves, but listening to that guidance from within as we do so. And together we will teach them to our brothers. Have you noticed how nearly every time the Course talks about the process we are going through, it ends up with some aspect of sharing or extension, some kind of giving what we have received to our brothers. The Course is not a personal path of salvation. Indeed, it teaches there is no such thing as individual salvation because individual is an illusion. We are not alone. We are not separate individuals who can be individually saved. We are part of a whole. And when we begin to receive what the Holy Spirit has to teach, we must share it because sharing is what he is teaching. We teach by actions or thoughts, in words or soundlessly, in any language or in no language, in any place or time or manner. We share precisely because the whole is not whole until everyone is included. As Jesus is incomplete without us, we are incomplete without our brothers. We, like Jesus, may recognize the wholeness in ourselves and in so doing, recognize it in our brothers. The wholeness is already there, but unacknowledged and unrecognized. I am as God created me, as one of our thoughts for review remind us. Our ancient home is being kept unchanged by time immaculate and safe. We cannot lose it. 
but we have lost awareness of it. And that awareness is what we share with each other. As we begin to accept our own wholeness, we become reminders to the world of the wholeness that is also theirs and that we share with them. There is no preaching quality, no spiritual elite telling the rest of the world how it is. It is the happy communication that you are whole as I am. I am as God created me and you are as God created you. We come to our brothers not as superiors, but asking their blessing on us, acknowledging them as the Holy Son of God along with us. Give me your blessing, Holy Son of God. Your holiness is the salvation of the world. It lets you teach the world that it is one with you, not by preaching to it, not by telling it anything, but merely by your quiet recognition that in your holiness are all things blessed along with you. It really is easy to ask bless to ask your brother give me your blessing holy son of god it's easy to ask that of somebody you really like but the challenge comes when you look at everybody as a collective whole and you realize there is no separation there is the collective whole there is the collective whole of everyone and everything and so even those that you don't get on with, that you avoid, ignore, that push your buttons, give me your blessing, Holy Son of God. You will find that slowly the wheels of forgiveness start to turn in your life when you recognize and realize that Every single individual on the planet, at the very core and essence of who they are, is perfect, pure, blameless, sinless, guiltless. And when we are no longer here in this world of form, we go back to that essence. And we are all one and united in the same thing. So thank you for being here with me today. I really hope you will spend the time in the morning and evening to go through, give me your blessing, Holy Son of God. And picture yourself asking this of someone that you really have a difficulty with and then sit with it for a while. And I am as God created me. You are as God created you. Perfect, pure, blameless, sinless, guiltless at the very essence of you you are pure divine divinity holiness so together we will gain greater understanding i thank you so much for being here i love you i bless you i honor you i cherish you and until tomorrow take care <music>